élevé ta main ce matin. Pendant ce moment qu'on chante. Tu es libre de soulever tes deux mains. Je ne sais pas quelle position tu peux prendre. I don't know what position you're gonna take this morning. Somebody just come to watch him, but you are free this morning. Just to tell him, here I am. That's my team. One more time, yes, sure you are. something before we start. Amen? Amen. 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 I cannot hear you this morning. Amen. Amen. What kind of the day today we say amen? Amen. Even this thing, amen. No. It's a special amen. day. Amen. 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 We're supposed to start maybe from outside because we are double today. We are amen. double Hallelujah. Hey. Amen. 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 I cannot Amen. hear that. Jonathan, Amen. I didn't hear that. Amen. 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 I like to hear that. Dr. <laughs> Freddy. Amen. Amen. Bless Amen. you, Mama Pastor. Amen. 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 I love you people so much. We are double today. So we're going to praise God. Why I'm saying this morning we are double? Because we have a special day that we're going to celebrate. For me, I come to that church, they call it the church where the center spirit, the Holy Spirit come down. Yes. Pentecost is the church. Amen. We can start the Bikelekele outside about the angel of the, this church. Amen. 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 But we're going to do it later. Uh -huh. But before we do it, we're going to just say hi to every person beside of you. Yes. Thank yes. you. Yes. I love you. God bless you. Good morning. You look good. 
I bless you. Bless every person. Uh, love him. Love people. My sister, God bless you. I love you. You look good. God bless you. Mama Pastor. God bless you. I love you. God bless you. God bless you, V. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. You sing very beautiful. God bless you, Tonto Freddy. God bless you. 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 Do it with joy. Do it with peace. Do it with blessing. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, this morning is dead. When you bless your friend, you just tell him, receive it. I bless you in Jesus' name. Special day. I like everybody to push on the front. We're gonna celebrate. And when we celebrate, I know they've already given me a little bit of time. But we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna celebrate because we are double today. It's a special day. I know our team, you need to be motivated to celebrate because. We are double today. I don't know if it's double or double. My God is double. I know you prepare all of the, your, 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 your stuff, but I like this church to be a different church. Amen. 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 Not a church like they sleep. You know, you come to church. That opportunity God gives you. But you come to church like you are, you are frustrated, you tired, you bring your situation big like the church, like a God. Is bigger than your problem. Amen. Amen. Oh, Jonathan. I like this church so the angel can come down. The one is sick, he can say, I'm not sick. The one he feels tired, he can say, I'm not tired. The one he feels like a God is small, he can feel like a God is bigger than your problem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we are ready.
Oh, ça va chauffer aujourd'hui. Si tu sentais les mots de fièvre, de douleur, ça va chauffer aujourd'hui. Aujourd'hui, c'est ton jour. Aujourd'hui, frère Moss, aujourd'hui, c'est notre journée. On doit table parce que nous avons notre spécial day. Table, table. J'aime que la salle puisse sentir la présence de Dieu. Yes, I want the, the room to feel the presence of God. Vous pouvez me voir comme ça. You can see me like this. Mais dans le Seigneur, But in the Lord, je suis comme ça. I'm small like this. Dans le Seigneur, je suis in comme the ça. Lord, I'm small like this. Vous pouvez vous étonner comment ce papa est en train de sauter. How this the father is jumping and dancing. Je connais la grandeur de ce Dieu. I know the greatness of that God. Amen. I know Il how God grand great plus is. que tes affaires. He's greater than your business. Il est grand plus que toute autre chose. He's greater than anything else. Si t'appelles aujourd'hui là, if he calls you, tu n'as pas résisté. You cannot resist. Mais il te donne l'opportunité. He gives you the opportunity. Voilà pourquoi nous allons dire. That's why we're going to say. Nous avons la journée spéciale d'aujourd'hui. Yes, we have this special day. We're gonna double it. We're going to double On it. On va double oh, le sang. We are going to double it. Parce qu'il est spécial pour nous. Because he's special for us. Je ne vais pas lui faire passer devant. Too young. I'm not going to call him out or attempt to come up front, but he's very young. He look very beautiful. He's, he's very handsome. <laughs> Et puis il respecte Dieu. And he respects the Lord. He respects quand vous me voyez ici, because when you see me here, si quelqu'un ne respecte pas Dieu, if somebody does not respect the Lord, I can hear and feel. Yes, I can hear it and I can feel it. Mais pour quelqu'un qui est ici, but for someone among us here, qui craint Dieu, who fears the Lord, ça me connecte. Yes, he connects me. I'm ça connected. Ça me connecte. Est-ce que tu peux acclamer très fort le Seigneur? Can you clap your hands Amen. for the Lord? Yes. <laughs> Donc on est d'abord les teams. Chauffe un peu. Yes. Pour que la fièvre puisse quitter dans la salle. Yes. J'aimerais que quelqu'un soit libre. I want someone to be free. On ne te freine pas. We're not blocking you. Ton problème là, ça ne dépasse pas Dieu. Is not bigger than God. Loue seulement ton Dieu de tout ton cœur comme yes, David. Yes, just praise God with all your heart like en, David. En Psaume 91, In Psalms 91, ça dit, it says, celui qui, qui est dans l'ombre du Seigneur. The one who's under the, the shadow of the Almighty. Je ne sais pas comment vous expliquer. I don't know how to explain it to On you. doit juste louer. Je ne pas Let, let's, let's, just, let's just praise the Lord. I don't know how to do it. Ça y est, je ne sais pas comment ça est. Stop preaching. Let, let's just oh, praise the Lord. Oh, Jonathan, chauffe-moi un peu. Moi, j'aimerais que vous me chauffez moi. Oh, alléluia. On va me chauffer moi. Si toi, tu ne veux pas, mais on va me chauffer moi. Si tu veux voir les mêmes mêmes avec moi, et moi, j'arrache cela ce matin. Dans la louange, il y a quelque chose de spécial. Hey,
Cette pambola it means blessing. Ce matin. He is good this morning. Il est ici. He's here. Et quand nous le louons comme ça, and when we're praising him like this, il libère les anges. Yes, he'll release his angels. Pour que nous puissions louer nous tous so ensemble. So that we may praise him all together. Tu laisses ta honte là rester à la you maison. You leave your shame outside. Tu es libre dans la présence de Dieu. You are free in the presence of God. Pour l'adorer, to worship him, pour lui dire merci, to tell him thank you. Alors, je me avant qu'on puisse entrer dans notre étape d'adoration. Before we go into worship. Je vais prier pour ouvrir la salle. I want to pray so that we can que les gens soient libérés et que la parole de Dieu. Je vais juste prier quelques minutes et puis nous allons continuer notre adoration. Vous savez quelque chose quand j'ai dit spécial aujourd'hui nous sommes you know, doublés. There is when I say that there is quand je parviens même à dire un mot pour le pasteur Joe Samalenge. When I'm even saying a word Vous savez tout le monde n'a pas atteint même ce, ce niveau. Yeah, not everybody has reached the level that he's at. Ce pasteur, il travaille beaucoup. Nous devons he works a lot. We need to be grateful. 
J'ai été dans le ministère avec ma matinée, ça fait presque 30 ans. I've been in ministry for 30 years. Dans les boards pastorales, craindre Dieu jusqu'aujourd'hui. In pastoral boards. Mais quand and nous just voyons l'homme de Dieu today, humble, and when we look at the men of God, humble, et diriger tout le monde, and lead everyone, ne voyez pas comme c'est quelque chose de facile. Don't see it as something uh, easy. Don't take it for granted. Préparer les messages. And preparing the word. Conduire la prière. Leading prayer. Counseling. Counseling. Et je vois beaucoup. 80 il fait toutes choses lui seul. And at 80 je vais prier. My work. So I'm going to nous allons pray continuer avec notre adoration. And we're going to worship the Lord. Soulève ta main, je vais prier. Just Seigneur, raise Dieu, your hand ce matin. Nous voulons t'inviter avant qu'on puisse, oh Dieu, entrer dans l'adoration, la, l'étape qui est très capitale. Thank you, Jesus. Merci Jésus pour ce moment merveilleux que tu nous offres, oh Dieu, ton serviteur, Pasteur Dieu Samalenge. Père, nous dédions ce qu'il te la salle et toutes choses sous ta contrôle divine. Que le Saint-Esprit s'en occupe maintenant. Que ceux-là qui étaient bloqués, envoûtés, dispersés, lourdeurs, quoi que ce soit, soient libérés ce matin au nom de Jésus. Père, nous laissons l'étape de l'adoration et toutes choses sous ta contrôle. Hosanna au nom de Jésus. Alléluia. Amen. Amen. Toto Jonathan, conduis-nous dans l'adoration. Est-ce qu'on peut acclamer très fort pour le Seigneur Oh, Alléluia, Alléluia. Tu es libre, c'est bon ce matin. C'est très bon ce matin. Nous allons adorer Thank notre you, Dieu. Thank you, Jesus. Et quand tu l'adores là, il est toujours là pour faire quelque chose de spécial dans ta vie. Il n'est pas loin. L'équipe, vous nous avez préparé quelque chose dans, de nous faire introduire dans l'adoration. Nous allons entrer dans l'adoration profonde pour libérer cet endroit, cet environnement. Dans la présence de Dieu. Si tu veux fermer tes yeux, ne te fais pas close your eyes as we're, running, as we're worshiping. Le moment très capital, on va adorer notre yes, Dieu. This is a very crucial moment. We're going to worship the Lord. Adore lui, dit, Just lui worship que me him. Just tell him, here I am. Prends tout pour moi. Take all of me. Occupe-moi. Occupe-moi. Fill me up. Utilise ma famille. Use me. Use my family. Utilise mes pensées. Use my thoughts. Que mes pensées ne soient pas dirigées par l'ennemi. That my thoughts may not be led by the enemy, by evil. Je commence à prendre des bonnes décisions. Et le moment que je t'adore, et as I'm worshiping you, que ton adoration puisse me sanctifier. That my worship may be holy for you, the name of Jesus.
church.
Ça c'est bon. Ça c'est bon ça. Est-ce qu'on peut acclamer très fort parce qu'aujourd'hui nous sommes doubles et encore Une fois de plus, est-ce qu'on peut se mettre debout Acclamer très fort pour le roi des rois, les Michel et Kelly, et nous sommes doubles aujourd'hui. Est-ce qu'on peut acclamer très fort Au nom de Jésus, acclamons très fort encore. Je veux vous attendre. Le roi des rois, le Seigneur des Seigneurs, Dieu vivant, le créateur de la journée d'aujourd'hui, le Dieu qui nous a donné. Alléluia. Il est bon ce matin. Mmh. Il est bon ce matin.
just about the choir singing, but it's about all of us singing all together. So we want to sing this song together. I want this part of the room here on my right just to see what a friend, what a savior he is. It's very simple and very easy. And on this side on my left, if you can just sing, oh, 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 let that be most expression yes Lord. so we're singing what a friend thank you what Jesus. a savior he is and we're singing all to him thank you and Jesus. then we're going to switch we just want that heavenly yes, sound Lord. you know yes. we just want all of us yes to worship together yes. so let's go together what a we friend we worship you Lord what a when you worship. What a father. What a friend. What a friend. Yes. What a savior he is. Yes, come on, worship him louder. What a father. What a friend. What a friend. What a savior. What a savior he is. Yes, one more time. What a father. What a father. What a friend. What a friend. What a savior. l'intercession. I, I told Mama Tina we need to start interceding, intercession. Parce que Dieu nous a donné encore euh, la journée spéciale. Yes, because God gave us a special day. 
Alors, avant qu'il puisse s'élever et avancer devant, j'aimerais que tu puisses acclamer très fort de ce que Dieu est en train de faire. J'appelle le pasteur Joe Samalengue, l'homme précieux. Bénisse, pasteur. Toutes les bonnes choses, pasteur. Alléluia. Amen. Amen. Do those people that need translation devices, do they have them? Now she can translate. So let's do it. Let's do it fast. Amen. I want all the kids to go because of what I'm going to say. We're going to pray. Nous allons prier. Before um, I proceed to preach today. Avant que je ne puisse uh, entrer dans mon, dans mon message de ce matin. Twenty-six years ago. Vingt-six ans. In 1996. En 1996. I was praying. Je priais. And the Lord showed me two people. Et l'Éternel m'a montré deux personnes. A man and a woman. Un homme et une femme. And they were planning to have a pact with the devil. Et ils étaient en train de planifier de faire un pacte avec le diable. To sacrifice. Pour sacrifier. Children. Des enfants. Of their relatives. De leurs euh, relatives. It was a big deal. C'était très important. I remember fighting with them for two weeks. Je me souviens avoir eu un combat avec eux pour deux semaines, pendant deux semaines. For two weeks, I went to close that gap. Pendant deux semaines, j'ai dû fermer ce gap. Cette brèche. Cette brèche. And I remember declaring. Et je me souviens déclarer avoir déclaré que personne is going to be sacrificed d'aller être sacrifié except your own except à l'exception des de vôtres you know god god does not intend to kill a witch or a sorcerer dieu n'a pas l'intention de tuer un sorcier ou une sorcière it's because they are stubborn c'est parce qu'ils sont têtus that's how they end up dying c'est pour ça qu'ils arrivent à la mort à mourir not only did I do that in prayer, I remember talking to one of them. So I didn't only do it in prayer, I talked to one of them. I said, for the past two weeks, you know you've been fighting with me, you've come during the night. They knew, so they knew very well. And I say, I really pray that you give your life to Jesus Christ. Because this is going to have a very bad end. This is very dangerous. You're playing a very dangerous game. So that cup was closed. And those people, those two people, have seen their own children die one after another because of the pact that they made. I offered them salvation. They did not want to. On Thursday, you were here with me, those who prayed with me. I told you that I was just praying. It was the day before my birthday. On my couch. And then I snoozed a little bit. And I saw somebody pointing a gun at me. Remember on Thursday? I told you that, right? On Thursday. And they could not trigger, you know, the gun. So they were unable to shoot me in the vision. And I came here and we prayed. We prayed for all the male kids. Remember on Thursday? Yes. On Friday on my birthday, I was very uncomfortable in my body. I was like, like somebody sick. For those who even called me, if you talked to me on the phone, you could feel that I was like exhausted. I was not like somebody celebrating his birthday. Part of it is because I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preach because God has been showing me why is it that there's so many servants of God that fall? Why do they fall? 
and why do they do so many evil things? So that was already make me sad. Okay? So all day Friday, I was meditating, praying. I went to bed very, very late because I was praying and thinking. I felt like somebody was fighting me. Like there was a spirit of death around me. But I didn't really pay attention. I thought what was making me sad is to the revelations that God was giving me about how many chosen servants of God are falling into temptation. All I said on the 29th on Friday to God was I was born to serve you. That's all I want is to serve you. That's it. I know somebody's fighting me right now. I can feel an evil presence. I don't really care. Long time ago, I'll ask God, who's that person? And I'm going to pray against them. But right now, that's not really the point. So all day Friday, all up to the 30th on Saturday, it's not a good night for me. Not that I was tormented. It's like God was trying to show me that there was something against me, but I didn't really want to pay attention to that. I wanted to pay attention to how am I going to serve you the right way. That is my deepest, you know, desire. And then on the 30th, they called me. Remember so and so? It was that person to whom 26 years ago I told them, give your life to Christ. I know you are in witchcraft. We've been fighting. It's not a secret. You've come. I've seen you so many times for the past two weeks. Stop it. That person passed away. What makes me sad, I'm not happy that they died. I cannot be happy that somebody dies, especially if they don't die in Christ. And then I'm like, I didn't know what to feel, you know, happy, unhappy, I don't know. It made me sad again. I'm like, so all this fight I was having is this person probably trying to hurt me. So now I ask God. I didn't ask at that time. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to pray. I was going to Frederick to pray for somebody. I got to an exit. I'm supposed to take this exit. And there was like, like a jam in the, tra in the exit. You know, sometimes when you come to exit, there's so many cars. So we are waiting. We are moving slowly. Suddenly, I fell asleep. I never, it never happened to me before. I just fell asleep. And then at some point, it looks like my car actually accelerated really fast. I felt like there was a movement in the car. When I opened my eyes, I was on the grass. I was stopped on the grass. I have no idea how I got there. It's a miracle from God. I probably was going to be involved in an accident. At that time, that's when I'm like, okay, God, what's going on now? Somebody's trying to kill me. Somebody's trying to hurt me. And it may sound weird. But it's a good sign when the devil wants to kill you. Do you know why? If the devil wants to kill you, it means he cannot use you. Amen? If the devil cannot use you, then he wants to kill you. So I'm not afraid of the devil wanting to kill me. But then I asked ask God, I said, God, what's going on? He said, okay, there was a meeting. So those people made another meeting with they associate more people and say if we were not able to sacrifice so and so and so and so it's because of that man. He's the one who closed the gap. So we need to kill that one to reopen the door of sacrifice. Kobo Sayaba. Now you know the sad thing is now there's going to be a series of people dying because they connected themselves to the wrong pact. 
We are children of God. God does not want to destroy anybody. But sorcerers and witches, they are so stubborn. It's like Pharaoh continued to follow the Israelites even to the Red Sea. I'm already born to serve Christ. There's nothing nobody can do about it. Not even myself. If I try to do something different, it doesn't work. Some of us, we were called to serve Christ. You cannot stop ministry. You cannot stop God. Amen? This is very important. I just felt so bad that so many people are going to die one after another. Connect yourself to Christ. Amen? Witchcraft is a dangerous game. Those people die really bad. And the devil who was using you, once you die, is going to show you that he never loved you. He's going to torture you like you have never imagined. That person passed away. When that person passed away, I was on the grass, enjoying God's protection. God wanted to show me that, hey, I've been trying to show you something. You didn't pay attention. Now you're going to pay attention. I'm talking about ministry here. We've been talking about things that are fighting you from obeying God. We talked about your background. We talked about entitlement. Today I'm going to talk about deception. And I put self and then I put deception. So this, there is deception that comes from outside. And there is deception comes from within yourself. And that's what I call self-deception. The devil probably wanted me died before I preached this to you. I want you to really listen carefully because we are all called to serve God. I really want you to listen very carefully. Deception. Self-deception. Cosine. God works in two ways. And I'm going to show you those two ways. But let's read first. First Corinthians. To each is given the manifestation of the spirit for the common good. So I want you to highlight common good. Can you say to the person next to you common good? What does this mean? Even if God showed me that this person is a witch, the fact that God revealed it to me is also for the good of that witch. Amen? God gives you a gift so that everybody in the community can benefit, whether they are bad or good. Whether they are bad or good. So that everybody can benefit. So the gift that you have is for the blessing of all of us. It's for the blessing of people in your family. It's for the blessing of people at your workplace. It's for the blessing of everybody God brings your way. For common good. And what, is the, what are those manifestations that are for the good of everybody? Let's go. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom. To another, the utterance of knowledge. We call word of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the same Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy to another the ability to distinguish between spirit 
and to another various kinds of tongues and another the interpretation of tongues. Amen? So these are the gifts, the manifestation of the Holy Spirit in us that are for the benefit of the community. Amen? Prophecy, miracle, word of wisdom, word of knowledge, tongues, interpretation of tongues, they are not meant to destroy a community. They are meant to rebuild a community. So far so good? For the good of the common, the community. But then let's go into Matthew. I really want you to listen carefully for your life, for your ministry. Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. Beware of false prophets. Who gives the gift of prophecy? God. But then he says what? A false prophet who come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly are ravenous wolves. Let's continue. You will know them by their fruit. Can somebody say their fruits? Good. Are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from three souls? So every sound tree bears good fruit, but the bad trees bear evil fruits. Let's continue. A sound tree cannot bear evil fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into fire. Thus you will know them by their fruits. You will know them by their fruits. Okay? We'll understand all this statement. Not everyone who says to me. Now, I want you to pay careful what the Lord is saying. Not everybody who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he who does the will of my father who is in heaven. Let's continue. On that day, many will say to me. And this is what I want you to see. We just saw the gift of God. But look at which gift is saying here. They did not know prophesy in your name. Who gives the gift of prophecy? We're going to understand why. Cast out demon in your Oh, sanctification ministry is a ministry of deliverance. Some of us. We are included. <laughs> Does that make sense? Power of miracles. Power of deliverance. And many my works and many my, mighty works in your name. And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evil doers. If God is warning us about these beautiful things, why does he give them to us? And how do we get here? That's where the word self deception. God works in two ways. Number one, what we call the spectacular. In evangelism, the spectacular is a draw, drowning force. It's an attractive force. It has to be there. It attracts people. It's a pulling force. But so that God can lead them somewhere is this next step called the mystery. God works with the spectacular and the mystery. The, mis the spectacular will lead you to the mystery. The mystery will lead you to do the spectacular and so on. Colossians chapter 1. Let me read everything so I begin to just talk. God works with the spectacular and the mystery. What is the mystery? To them God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery which is Christ in you. Hope of glory. 
So the spectacular is meant to lead you to the mystery. The spectacular is meant to lead you to have Christ in you. If you come here and testify and say God did a miracle in my life and that miracle does not lead you to have Christ in you, it was a waste of time. The Lord healed me from a brain tumor. Oh, what a beautiful testimony. Everywhere I go and I talk about it, people cry. But if that spectacular thing did not bring Christ in me, then it's useless. Amen? I'd rather die with a brain tumor and go to heaven than go all over the world and proclaim the miraculous God and go to hell. Amen? The spectacular and the mystery. That's why God gives you a gift of prophecy. That's why God gives you a gift of performing miracles. That's why God gives you a mystery of the word of knowledge. These are spectacular things. You know, a lot of people say, Jesus preached for three years, only 12 followed him. But Peter only preached one night and 3,000. No, 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 you need to say this. Before he preached, he went through the temple and performed a miracle. There was a guy that was paralyzed and everybody saw him walk. That's the spectacular. He attracted how many people? 3,000. The spectacular is meant to attract. Even when John the Baptist was asking, go ask Jesus, is it him? Oh, we need to wait for another one. What did Jesus say? Tell him what you... You see the spectacular. But what did he add then? And what you... That's when the mystery comes in. Tell them what you see. Tell him the spectacular you see. They saw a man walk who was begging at the temple his entire life. 3,000 people came. But when they came, huh, what did Peter do? He began to teach them about Jesus Christ. It's time to do the mystery now. It's time for me to put Jesus in you now. Amen? Amen? Amen. Spectacular. Now, among all the gifts that we have, because the devil's purpose is to deceive. What does he do? He's going to use what? Gift that seduce. You see now? It's not that prophecy is not from God. But the devil knows that prophecy has the power to seduce. The devil knows that uh, gift of miracles have the power to seduce. I'm going to use the same thing. That's why when you have those kind of ministries and gifts, you want to be very, very careful. You may deceive yourself. A lot of people have deceived themselves. I remember one day, we are in a deliverance session. You've seen it. I'm standing next to somebody and I'm saying to the, whole, to the spirit that is in the demon, I, say, uh, I think it was a human spirit. I said, get out. The human spirit look at me in the eyes and say, you are so powerful. Do you know what the spirit is trying to do? He's trying to make me become proud. When you do the spectacular, you reveal something that is not of the ordinary. And if you are not careful, your own gift is going to deceive you because you are going to feel like I'm God now. Those are things that are hindering us from obeying God. That's why Jesus said, a lot who say, deny cast demons in your name. Believe me, I've done that my entire. The spectacular without the mystery 
ministry is useless. But the spectacular is important to attract. Amen? Was I talking to who was I talking to? Somebody was talking to me and they say, Pastor Joe, you need to tell these young men if they want to marry that girl, one day they should just surprise them in the morning pretending they needed something urgently to see how their faces look in the morning. Because in the evening the face is deceiving. The face is seducing. To see the real face. It, it didn't come from me. <laughs> Amen. A woman told me that. Deception. Just in the physical, a lot of people are deceived by their beauty. Oh, I'm so beautiful. If you don't manage your beauty very well, you will see, quote and quote, ugly people get married. And you're not going to get married because you are, you are self-deceived. Isn't that true? People have been deceived by their own money. But that also happens in the spiritual. You can be deceived by your own gifts. When we preach like this, you go out, Pastor, it was so good. Oh, it was so good, Pastor Joe. Oh, on my birthday, thank you. Pastor Joe, you have no idea how we have helped, how we have impacted our lives. It's not me. It's Christ in me. Amen. Because you know what? I'm going to die before some of you. But Christ will continue with you for the rest of your life. You need Christ. You don't need me. We need to change our language. Don't say when I was doing deliverance. When God was using me to deliver. It's a manifestation of God. Not of you. It's God manifesting through you. And doing those kind of things. The spectacular and the mystery. If you are not careful, if you have a spectacular gift, you may deceive yourself. And that day you tell God, did not do this in your name? And Jesus say, I don't know. I have no idea who you are. Wow. Those are things that are hindering us from obeying God. Because we think we can replace God. Because we think we have become God. And that is the temptation in the Garden of Eden. God say you can have all of this. I give you dominion. I give you power. But the serpent came and said, you're going to be. He was already like God. But the devil came and said, if you eat this fruit, you are going to be like God. But look at what the Bible says in the book of Philippians 2. Jesus was God. He emptied that. But Adams, the first Adams wanted to become like God. The second Adam said, I'm not going to be like you. I want to be like a man so I can be your servant. Your gift could become a danger. The spectacular should lead to the mystery. Christ in you. Amen? Christ in you. Jesus said, beware of false prophet. And usually we point at other people. But I think Jesus is saying to you, you have that gift of prophecy. Beware, don't become a false one. Does that make sense? Beware of those who perform miracles. Uh oh. Shebali. I was in England. Preach at this church. The Lord used me powerfully. Those people call me even today. You are the only true pastor I know. You just speak and deliverance is happening. I say, change it. I speak. The Lord makes deliverance happen. Amen. 
if you begin to receive those praises, you have already started deceiving yourself. People have the audacity of telling somebody else, if you are a Christian today, it's because of me. Lord have mercy. What about you becoming a Christian? Was it because of you? When God manifests his anointing in you, it leads you to humility. When it's not from God, it leads you to pride. You begin to manipulate people. You can manipulate people easily with prophecy. I remember somebody telling me, giving me a prophecy twice. And what he said happened. He built confidence already. He built trust. And then the next time he came to tell me something for the third time, I said, hey, sit here. This is not God. This is you. Amen? Amen. I had told that person, I said, I'm going to graduate. I'll give you my stuff from my room. You stay with it. I'm graduating in June. It comes in April. God said, give them to me now. Eh, eh. I'm like, that's you. Now you are rushing to get what I promised you. This is not God. Amen? Just wait two months. It's going to be yours. Amen? Self. That's why in this church, we don't have deliverance every Sunday, every Thursday. Do you know why? I don't want you to be used to that. I don't want you to see Pastor Joe as this powerful figure. Power, Pastor Joe has to follow what Christ wants to do. If Christ wants to teach that day, let Christ teach. If Christ wants people to just worship him, let him, let people worship God. Because the problem is, is when you give people this habit of you like God, the day God does not use you, you use yourself. You use yourself. Singing is a very seductive ministry. Pray that God will break you for real. You and I are not different. It's very nice to say, I have a ministry of deliverance. It's very nice God shows you how witches are dying because they attack you. Isn't that powerful? But if you follow that, you may lose your way. Always need Christ. Now, how do you know you are not deceiving yourself? That's why he said, you will know them by their fruits. The Holy Spirit, hey, look at me in the camera. The Holy Spirit does not make you a magician. The Holy Spirit makes you a disciple. Amen. How can you have an anointing when you can prophesy to 500 people in one hour and then you cheat on your wife? What kind of level of anointing that can allow you to do that? The fruit will tell us if you are true or you are a self-deceived uh, man of God. Uh, begin to check your own fruits. How can you claim to be so anointed uh, but you are such a liar? Pyreko Inama, you are self-deceived. Uh, how can you be so anointed and so corrupt? The Holy Spirit makes you a disciple. It does the spectacular in you to lead you to have Christ in you. Somebody asked me a question. How can you God use these people who are so sinful. 
Pastor Joe, is God using them? Cora Santa. I think that's the question we should always ask ourselves every day. Is God really using me? Or is it me using myself? Or is it the devil using me? The devil didn't want you to hear this. But this is for the rest of your life. The spectacular should lead to the mystery. We cry here, God bless me. You just get a little bit of money. You, you run away from church. You are self-deceived. If it's a blessing from God, it's going to put Christ in you. I'm not saying God cannot give millions to people. But when God gives you millions, if it's from God, it does not destroy your discipleship. Be careful with self deception. Self deception. How can you be so anointed and you are abusing people in your church? The Holy Spirit makes you a disciple, He puts Christ in you. The Holy Spirit brings the mystery in you Christ 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 in you hope of glory amen does that make sense each one of us here has a gift each one of us here has a ministry be careful especially if you have gift that can seduce amen and, and people regret huh? hmm. all God asked me to do in church is clean the bathroom good for you all I'm telling you some of us with so much spectacular it's a different story the devil is trying to tell you every day you don't need God look at how powerful you are look at how you understand the word of God you are so smart Put that camera on me. In America, seminary is a master's degree. Pastor Joe has a master's of divinity, but nobody will ever call me master. There is only one master, Jesus Christ. A master's degree does not make you the master. That's why when they give you that diploma, they never say, Master Joe. When they give you a PhD diploma, they call you doctor. When they, when they give you a master's degree, they say graduate student. They still call you student. Student of who? Of the master. Amen. Self deception, and usually, when you deceive yourself, that's when you become entitled, and that's what they're telling Jesus Jesus, I deserve to go to heaven because I prophesied in your name, I deserve to go to heaven because I kicked out demons in your name. Remember those people that Jesus sent, they went. When they came back to bring the report in Luke chapter 9, right? Say, oh God, we went there, we were preaching, people were healed, we cast out demons, and so on. Jesus said, rejoice not that demon ran, but rejoice that your name is written in the book of life. Poor Asaya. Sanctification ministry self-deception let me switch a little bit now I go from pastors to congregations now you are sitting there in the congregation criticizing pastors even people in congregation are self-deceived you are fighting your pastor every day check yourself maybe you are just racist Maybe you are just tribalist. It's so much in you 
that you just want to criticize this person no matter what they do do it uh -uh. you are there praising your pastor be careful don't praise him because he's from your tribe pray for your pastor that your pastor will not self deceive does that make sense pray for me all I want is to serve Jesus Christ I don't want you to praise me I don't want you to go criticize me just come and tell me what I do wrong if you can help me become better put that camera on me again the best way to criticize is to be different just be different Amen? Let me give you an example. And I'm sorry to do this. Vanya, come, come, come. Come, the three of you. So let's say these three beautiful young ladies bring their school reports. F, F, F. <laughs> the best way to criticize is to just put somebody next to them who got an A+. Plus. It speaks volume. Then talk, 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 talk. And then when we check yours, it's F-. minus. Does that make sense? The best way to criticize is to be just be different. Just be true. Be truthful. You don't need to talk much. You see people sitting next to you and they tell you, when I'm next to you, I just feel holiness. You didn't say anything. They feel something different. Amen? Amen? By F, I meant fiancé. You can have a seat. <laughs> Amen. 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 Our Lord is an amazing God. Self deception. And by A, I met anointed. <laughs> God works in two ways the spectacular and the mystery. The spectacular should lead to the mystery. Everything God does for you should lead you to become a disciple of Jesus Christ. I'm going to finish by saying, Jesus made a miracle. He multiplied bread. That was the spectacular. It was necessary. From five loaves of bread, he fed over 5,000 men without counting women and, and children. That was a spectacular. And then they followed him to the other side. Because of the spectacular, the spectacular will always attract. But when they got the other side, he said, you know what? Now it's time for me to give you the mystery. I don't want to give you that bread anymore. I want to give you the bread of life. Now you need to eat me. And me, get me in your body. Everybody was like, oh. Does that make sense? The spectacular should lead to the mystery. The more I fear God, the more I love my wife. The more I fear God, the more I love my children. The more I fear God, the more I love the congregation. The more I fear God, the more I want to do good to you. How can I fear God and think of hurting you? How can I fear God and think of abusing you? How can I love God and think of manipulating you? But the more I begin to love myself so much, deception. I think this is my right. 
throughout this week, one example came over and over in different denominations. I actually, the Lord actually led me to watch documentaries of things that have happened in church in so many denominations. One of them is sexual abuse. The pastor, the priest, whoever, they feel like, and, and this is the term everybody used. It was on, usually it was on girls that were already abused. They were already uh, 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 hurt in their lives. Uh, and they told them, I am going to fix you. And they did that by abusing them even more. Be careful. Don't love your pastor to the point that he leads you to do what God does not want you to do. The reference is the word of God. The reference is the Bible. Even if your pastor tells you to do something that God does not tell you to do, you have the right to say no. Don't say, but he was Pastor Joe. God uses him powerfully. If God used me powerfully, then my fruit should be the fruit of the Holy Spirit. My fruit should be the fruit of the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Holy Spirit. Self deception. You may not like me. Praise God. I thank God that I did not die on Friday so that I can preach today and tell you do not allow the spectacular God does in your life either for you or through you to destroy your relationship with God to destroy the mystery the most important is the mystery Christ in you hope of glory does that make sense? Does that make sense? I'm so glad I preached this to you today. And God told me to pray for myself every day to begin to kick out those spirit already. That spirit of self-deception. Because I know we're going somewhere. We're going to be bigger than this. But let remember this. Put that camera on me. It doesn't matter how big of a pastor I become. I will always be an assistant pastor to Jesus. It doesn't matter how big of a prophet you become. Always be an associate prophet. To Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how many miracles God is going to perform through you. Always be, always be an assistant to Jesus. In the area of miracles. Uh, always be an assistant to Jesus Christ. Uh, that's why Peter, one day about to crucify him. Uh, he said, go ahead. Uh, but I don't even deserve uh, to be crucified like my master. Put me upside down. Uh, because I'm not even worthy to die like Jesus. Uh, I'm not worthy to die like Christ. If I'm not worthy to die like Christ, how am I worthy to preach like Christ? If I'm not worthy to die like Christ, how am I, how can I be worthy to be praised? If this is what all my mission, I would say today, now you can tell me because I told them the truth. The spectacular and the mystery. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Stand up and clap for the Lord. Pora Kayabo. Sire Gloria. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord and Lord alone. Jesus Christ is the master. There's no other master. Jesus Christ is the true master. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
Maybe you self-deceived yourself. I want you to rise from the dead. We're going to sing that song that said, the resurrected king is resurrecting me. Nobody has the power to resurrect themselves. Nobody has the power to lift themselves up except Christ. It's time for our offering. On August 13th, we are going to have baptism. Um, if you check on the church chat of WhatsApp, we're going to give you the, the location, but it's in Excess, Maryland. We have 15 candidates to baptize. It's such a blessing. So if you can, just come. It's on Saturday, August the 13th. Let us celebrate all these people that are going to make a commitment before God and before all of us to be disciples of Jesus Christ. We have 15 people that registered and we praise God for them. May God bless them. At this time, let us give our offering and tithing to the Lord in Jesus' name. you will receive it not only as a sign of worship but also a sign of our faithfulness to you I pray that you bless us as we offer for the advancement of your kingdom we pray this in Jesus name Amen if you are here for the first time could you please stand we are going to welcome you first time are you here for the first time anybody probably know a little bit who you are uh, you are my niece friend right Benit and you are from Kenya right ah see I know something <laughs> praise the Lord welcome to sanctification ministry this is the house of the father this is the house of your father so feel free and welcome in Jesus name I want you to put our banner of who we are and our mission so that people can see who we are. They can just read it for themselves. Uh, and we'll talk more about you and you'll learn more about our church. And may God bless you. May God bless you. May everybody stand now as I bless the church. 
Thank you, Jesus. Can we all stand and we're going to receive the benediction. Father, I thank you for who you are. I thank you for our brothers and sisters who have traveled. I thank you for those who are at home because they went through surgery. I thank you for those who are traveling next week, either within the United States or out of state, our country. I pray, God, that wherever they go, let them always reflect who you are. Use them powerfully, God. And use them as a blessing to everybody. In Jesus' name. Now, Father, as we go depart from this place, be with us wherever we're going. Some of the people are probably going to visit somebody. Maybe spend time with somebody. Whatever we do this afternoon, let it be done for the glory of your name. In Jesus' name. Go and always understand that God will use you in a spectacular way. But God will always want to have you uh, dwell in you. Christ in you. Christ in me. Hope of glory. In Jesus' name we pray. We all say, Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you.